Hey guys, sorry about the hiatus. I was doing some commercial shoots for some upcoming projects that you guys are really gonna like. Um, they're coming up very, very soon. But I was able to go to a Surefire training event, as, as a media event essentially. We got to use a bunch of their products. Three day training course with suppressed weapons, CQB, knife, pistol, combatives, instructed by Bill Blowers from Tap Rack Tactical and Bill Rapier from Amtac uh, shooting and Amtac training, um, or Amtac blades, or Amtac knives, sorry. <laughs> but, um, so Bill Blowers is a 25 year law enforcement and SWAT veteran, also was an army veteran before that. Bill Rapier was a 20 year SEAL team guy, 14 of those years were spent with Dev Crew. So a lot of really awesome training. Without further ado, I'm just gonna let you guys check out some of the training that we did and walk you through some of the things, specifically the actual scenarios that we did at the culmination exercise of the event. Now, one of the aspects of this training that I really loved is it kind of reminded me of a little bit of basic training or like some kind of summer camp or something like that because all of the social media guys or media dudes with his kit badger, act of self-protection, Mr. Guns and Gear, Talon Sai, uh, Wiseman Company, uh, Good Guys Guns, uh, just all these dudes, uh, even um, Ian from Recoil. Uh, was there so it's you had this really cool dynamic of all these different guys from different backgrounds in the gun industry Living and training together uh, That was probably one of my favorite aspects because I normally don't get to interact with these kinds of guys You know, it's normally it's like I do I do interact with people in the gun industry But I interact with airsoft and Milson people a lot more um, So it's always cool to see outside perspectives and also kind of see what those guys think of airsoft and whatnot I guess a couple of them were surprised that I was even there because I mean, even though I have a military background, I'm kind of known as like an airsoft guy. So that was really cool. And obviously my strong suit was really like the close quarter battle portion, moving around with the guns because I do that all the time. Um, but that was a really cool dynamic that I really loved about this training environment and the bungalow. Like the place they had us put up was really, really cool. Full kitchen and everything and like they got bunk beds and everything. It just It just felt like a really good kind of summer camp training that had a huge, awesome surefire spin on it as well. So after we got some of the basic fundamentals out of the way, zeroing, height over bore, because uh, we're running basically BCM carbines or style setups um, with uh, essentially we have the different Surefire uh, scout setups on there and Surefire cans on there as well, uh, which is cool because I don't get to run suppressed weapons in California obviously all that much, so that was a really cool experience. But from there we moved on to close quarter battle which is kind of, obviously, both both the Bills have really good experience with this. Um, Bill uh, Blowers was our instructor for this segment. Specifically, um, what was interesting, too, is because he's got the SWAT law enforcement background, he's got some interesting stories behind there as well. Um, and it was cool to see his mindset about CQB, about the, the do's and don'ts, and it was cool. It's uh, You know, I'm always open to learning about CQB stuff, because... You know, I wasn't a door kicker in the military or whatever. I do a lot of CQB and airsoft, but it's always cool to see and pull from different people's experience and backgrounds about what they've learned about close quarter battles. And even though some of the ideas may conflict, sometimes you learn something new that you're like, you know, I didn't think about that. That actually might work better. Um, so, yeah, Bill Blowers had a lot of really, really good insight with the close quarter battle segment. And, of course, we moved into two-man drills with, essentially glass houses and then doing a little bit of live fire there and then moved on doing some training in the building. So the CQB phase is probably the section that I had the most strength at and that people could tell that I was most familiar with because of the airsoft background, did some CQB training with Tyler Gray who's now on SEAL Team, the TV show, did some CQB training with Travis. Um, not Nothing super insanely extensive but just enough that it's definitely applicable for what I do at least on the airsoft side, the Milsom side. 
um, two-man entry, two-man team stuff is super, like, that's what you're going to find a lot of when you're playing BB Wars. And also, like, every time I do CQB stuff with training, it's good. It's a good refresher. But you also pick up a new couple little things along the way. Bill was very good about that. Because one of the things I do, I was, I was not say I was rushing, but I was just naturally almost too fast for it. And he was always telling us to slow down and like keep, basically tighten up the gaps a little bit. So that was something I, I needed to work on. Um, but yeah, it's always like when you're looking at a room and you're trying to figure out how do I, how do I clear this room or these complex problems. Because we're, we're starting to move in some more complex spaces that has multiple dead space or just really deep corners or weird stairwells and stuff like that. And the cool thing about CQB, it's like a math problem. You, when you look at a math problem, you might not know how to solve it, or you might you be looking at it and looking at it and looking at it, and then someone comes in and shows you how to look at it from a different angle, and suddenly the problem, the answer to the problem appears in front of you, and you're like, why didn't I think of that? So CQB is really cool, especially two-man CQB, and I think that doing training with any of these guys or doing training with any good instructor out there who is teaching this stuff, Super awesome to have because it just opens your eyes to a lot of things you may not have thought of. So next we move on to the first actual kind of scenario where we're just clearing a building, um, unknown friendlies, unknown hostiles, don't really know what's in there, and it's always a good learning experience to look back on the mistakes that you make when you're clearing rooms and stuff like that and how you clear complex spaces because these a lot of this stuff isn't just traditional square rooms and stuff. You have really weird counters and obstacles and walls sticking out of the walls. So you have to figure out how to navigate that. And uh, there's actually some really good footage that BCM has that kind of shows how some of the guys from Northern Red cleared this very building. Although the configuration was slightly different. Uh, without further ado, go ahead and check out the training. And this is the first Force on Force scenario. I do get shot. At least once in like the shoulder or whatever, but for the one shot that I got, I definitely gave the bad guy a couple myself. So right. go ahead and check you it out. Want to take it? Cool. Okay, how are you gonna deal with this? Okay, you take the long shot. I, huh? I'm not gonna get long, and I'll I'll bust the door for you. Okay, good. Yeah. One bad guy backed off. Alright, I got long. Come with me. Okay, hey. I'm gonna hold long. You take that, right? Three, one, two, three. Oh, careful, you got it. Okay. You got it. Okay. Hey, you have, you, hey, you got this? 
Okay, hold them up. Hold this, I'm gonna pick that. Okay. You got it? Nope. Same. Okay. Okay. Where are they at? Okay, when we cross, pie it out right and I'm gonna shoot in there, right? So basically I'm push out and pie that way. Ready? Okay, I'll pie this and keep this on. Okay, just hold on. We're gonna push the other. Okay. okay, push, 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 push. Show your hands! Show your hands right now! Move, move to your right! Move over to your right, turn the other guy, right now! Turn around, face the wall! Turn around, turn away from me! Okay. Get on your knees! Got dead space, Boom's over there. What do you got on the left? You got some dead space over to the left? I'm gonna yep. hold that, hold that. Okay. Hold that. Okay, deep breath. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, you're coming left and I've got you back around this dead space. I'm gonna... You're coming, you're coming this way? Yeah. I'll cover your back here. Got it. Hold on. I need to stand by. All right. I got it. On you. Second. Wait, don't go too far. Oh my God, help me! Get me out of here! Get off! Compliant, compliant, compliant. You got him? Get on your knee! One dead bad guy over there. If you're a hostage, come over here. Yeah, move it. Come yeah, to us. Back side of the kitchen. Come to us. No me your hands. Okay. Hey, hold long. I got movement right behind here. Okay. Hey, hold long. Hold on. Hold long. Hold long. Okay. Hey, if you're a hostage. Come this way. Come here. Come here. Come here. You got security up? Okay. Let me go. Put me over here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Come in here. Come in here. Okay. We got three houses. Where's he at? Where's he at? We got a bad guy around the right side. Right side? Up with a pistol. Okay. Shit. Okay, hey, hold that. I'm gonna clear this wall for you. Back to back. You got it? Got it. You got it? Peeking, peeking. Clear. Behind us? Okay. Okay, we're tango down. Two tangos down, three hostages secured. Okay, hey, hold long. I'm gonna keep this way. No, hold, hold this angle, hold this angle. Don't go too wide. Hey, come to us. Come here. Come to us, come to us. Come to us. Stand up. Come here. Walk slowly to me. Keep coming. Come here. Come to me, come to me. All right. You good? You good? All right, covering. All right. You up? Bad guy down here. Okay. Yeah. We got. Oh, wait, you got the uh, other guy. Have to fire this opposite. Say again. I'm coming this way. Okay. 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 Open door. Two open doors left. Trying to check the dead space. Treat him like he's a cabinet, Greg. Right? Treat him like he's a cabinet. Right. You got Mike? You got me? You got this side? Here? Dead space clear. Okay. Okay. Hey. Compress on me. Compress like right there. This angle. Got it. Hold security. On you. Okay. Open door to your left. Okay. Yeah, it's open. Open? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go clear that. Um, I'm gonna go clear that, that shallow room, the bathroom. Yeah. You uh, watch my back as I clear over the top. Well, hey, you have this open. Hold, 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 hold. You have this open door to the left. I understand. Okay. You, so I want you to, to cover that while I get in there and clear that. Okay. Good. Good. I'm gonna put a muzzle on it. Ready? Ready. One, Set. two, three. Okay, we gotta follow one room. Okay. All right. You good. Open door. Let's clear. Let's clear. Let's clear. Let's clear. Let's clear. Let's clear. 